So Valentine's Day, it's almost upon us and this jazz standard, my funny Valentine, uses so many cool elements, things like line cliches, 251, stritone substitutions, many more cool things you don't really have to worry about if you just want to enjoy playing this tune, which is actually not that difficult and you can make it as complicated as you want yourself, as you will see very soon. So let's go. I'm playing the melody and the chords on just one guitar. So this is called chord melody and it's an essential skill for solo guitar and it works really well with this piece. We're going to play phrase by phrase, first start looking at the melody and then start looking at the chords and then just merge them together. If it goes too fast for you, all the tabs are available at my Patreon page. I won't be like saying all the notes uh, because it just takes forever and it bores everyone, I guess. So let's start. The first melody goes like this. And you play that twice. It's in the key of C minor, so we're just following this, the minor scale. The chords underneath are very interesting. There's something happening that's called a line cliche. There's one note that lowers chromatically while the chord keeps stationary. So it's C minor to C minor major seven, just lowering that note on the D string to C minor seven to C minor six even. But this voicing isn't really working well in combination with the melody, I think. So we're gonna change things up. We're gonna omit a lot of things from the chords. Actually, the only thing we're playing is the bass note and that note that lowers chromatically. And pair that with the melody and it sounds like this. You hear? It sounds lovely with just so little notes. The bass notes and that chromatic note on the D string lowering from fret 10 to 9 to 8 and the melody playing. And one more time. And now on the fourth chord, we're playing that C minor 6, but here I changed things up a little bit, not because I need to, but just because I love how it sounds. I'm playing this chord. So I'm playing the minor third in the bass, fret 6 on the A string, and then 7 and 7 on D and G, which is the melody 7, 8, 7. So I'm not playing the bass note over here, or I'm playing a different bass note. Not the C, but the E flat. You could also play the C in the bass, but that just doesn't sound the same, does it? This is just an artistic choice I make, and you can make different choices if you think it sounds better or you think your fingers don't work with the chord. Feel free to just play it how you think it sounds great. That's the beauty of jazz guitar. You can just do whatever you want. Nobody can complain because you can just say it's jazz. All right, so that was the first phrase. After that bit, we go to the next part where the melody goes like this. And the chords underneath are A flat major seven to F minor seven to D half diminished to G seven with a flat 13. So that sounds like a lot, but it's not that hard. It's a two, five, one at the end, by the way. Let's get to that later. So we're playing the... So the melody note is on the G string right now. So that's why I'm fretting it like this, because the highest note is the one you perceive as being the melody note. Okay, so then we go to the D and the E flat on the B string. Playing that with my index finger, fret three and four. And then to that F minor seven, we don't play the minor note at first because it just doesn't fit the chord, don't have the finger. Uh, I'm playing fret 11 on the B string, which is the melody note. And then going down. And then to that D half diminished. Some folks call it D minor seven flat five. Same thing. It's the two chord in the key of C minor. And then we play the five chord in the key of C minor, the G seventh. And added to that chord is the flat 13, which is E flat. So, then the thing I played 
just a little in-between noodle. Going to the second bit, which is basically the same melody over the same chords, but now the melody starts on the minor third instead of on the root note. So um, we're playing this melody. Twice, over the same chords, but now I'm voicing them differently. So starting out on this C minor chord. this just to beef up the chord a little bit sort of added melody notes underneath so. the second chord was at minor major seven remember so and this is where I do a cool thing I think it sounds lovely it's not the handiest voicing out there but I just wanted to play it like this because I love that sound so I'm fretting the C the bass note with my thumb fret eight Pinky's playing that major seventh note and the ring finger the minor seven, creating this minor major seventh chord over here. And the melody note on the B string is fret six to fret eight, back to six. And now to the minor seventh chord, simply barring my index over the eighth fret, playing the E, the D, and the G string, and then the melody going up. Do that C minor six again, root note six, and the minor note, and the melody playing. All right. And now again we go to that beautiful six chord, A flat major seventh. We all know and love the shape. So the highest note is now an E flat because that's the melody. Because the melody goes like this. And the chords underneath are pretty much basic. A major seventh to F minor seventh to F half diminished to B flat seven. So that is again a two five one to a different key. But we do that at the end when we get there. So and I'm playing again a little note underneath the melody just to beef it up. We've seen it before, and now to that high D over there on top of the F minor seven, which is an interesting tension creating there. Just playing the melody, so from ten on the high E, from D to C to B flat to A, a little outside note there, landing on the F half diminished chord. You can also see this chord as an A flat minor six, which is also a cool vibe. I played it like this forever, but I felt like the F minor flat five, F minor seven flat five with a B flat seven creates a cool two five one again to the new thing. So then we played a F minor seven flat five or half diminished to B flat seven. You can add the flat 13 over there if you wish. And then we go to the B segment of the song, where we sort of modulate to E flat major. I mean, it's still the relative key, but it feels totally different. We're going optimistic, happy, and more vibrant. Is your figure less than Greek? That is the melody. The chords are E flat major seven. F minor seven, G minor seven, and F minor seven. But playing the melody on top creates a little bit different, like this. So I'm playing the F minor seven like this, ring finger on the F and the minor third, and the flat seven is the, the melody note. finger of the G. So we're getting a G minor 7 with that E flat as the melody notes. Back to F minor 7, melody playing that. Now we play the same thing, but now the high note goes one step higher to C. And 
now it goes even higher again to E uh, to D, sorry. And I'm playing this voicing, the thumb playing the E flat over here and then a major seven over here creating that D melody note on top. And then we're playing a G minor seven to C minor seven. So that's the end of the bit. It goes differently. It goes from E flat to G minor seven to C minor seven. So when we get G minor 7, C minor 7, and now there is a quick 2, 5, 1, again. But this uses a tritone substitution, and I'm just playing the chords very mildly to not overemphasize the things. B flat minor 7, basically like this, A7, like this, and A7 is basically the tritone substitution of the 2 5 1. So instead of playing an E flat 7, which would be the 7 of A flat major, the chord we're going to, we play an A7, which is the tritone from E flat. So that's why it's called the tritone substitution. So B flat minor to A7 to A flat major 7. So the A is functioning as a tritone substitution of E flat 7, B flat minor 7, A7, and then playing the A flat major 7 over here. So this is a 2 5 1. And then we go back to the bit we all know via again a 2 5 1, B minor 7, G7 flat 13. So again, 2 5 back to 1, playing the same. And now it's cool to play it as minimalistic as possible, just playing the melody and one bass note that slowly descends semitone by semitone. So. Like that. You hear the chords going on even if you just play one note for chord and one note for melody. And that's the beauty of it. You're sort of implying the changes without actually playing them. And then, probably my favorite part of this tune, we go to the A flat over here. So it's again a 2 5 1, but we start on an A flat major 7. Playing the melody like this. But then the chords underneath the A flat major 7. A D diminished, a little variation, like this. To G7 flat 9. So I'm playing a higher voicing, not playing the root notes. Beautiful. And of course, this is a 2 5 1 resolving to C minor 7 of this voicing. And then you think we're at the end. No, not yet, because a B minor 7 to the triton substitution, an A7 leading to an A major 7. So again, a 2 5 1 with a tritone substitution, but now I'm voicing it like this. I'm adding over here <laughs> the flat 9. I think it sounds magical. To an A7 with a flat 13. Cool sounds. And then this walks up to an F minor 7. To B flat 7. So 2 5 1 again, F minor with the melody on the B string. Landing on the B flat 7, which resolves to the one chord, now going to E flat major again. And in jazz, we like to end on a 6 chord or a 6 9. I played that little thingy over there just because I wanted that high E flat on top. So 
So I hope that makes sense somehow. And um, if it goes too fast, all the tabs of everything I played in the intro are available on my Patreon page. But I do want to encourage you to try it out for yourselves, to figure out the note yourself, because if you put in time, you will be such a better guitar player in the end. And that's what I, I want for my viewers. I always make video, or I try to make videos that require the viewer to do a little bit of work themselves as well. So in the end, you will feel so much better about the thing you've learned. Anyway, uh, play this for your loved ones. That would be awesome. And tag me on Instagram, at Paul Davis Guitar. I, I love to see all the covers. And I wish you a lovely day and let me play it one time super slow so everyone can see exactly what's going on. Cheers, bye bye. Cheers.